Radiant heat in the floor has come a long way, and I gotta tell you, it's one of those things because everyone says, oh, my ceramic tile or tile is cold on my feet. The main reason we want to heat floors is to take the chill off the tile. In the bathroom, it's a great idea. Nice and toasty in the morning, great for a bath or shower. Schluter's a smart company. I mean, the ease of putting in a heat cable system within the Dietrich called Dietrich Heat, it's two things in one. It's giving us that uncoupling membrane that's on the floor and allowing a cable to be snapped in place, removing that secondary system, whether it's a matted or another cable system that would be required in another installation. The reason that we want to uncouple the tile layer from the substrate is to allow the two to move independently of each other. If you're not using uncoupling with a heated floor, chances are you may get tile cracking or grout joints cracking because of the fluctuation in temperature. We want to make sure that we're allowing the tile to move independently. And we're not doing the additional step of adding the self-leveler. So the installation is expedited. Before, if I wanted to put in floor heating, I'd have another layer, whether it's a mat or cables, and it would be a little bit more thin set than the tile. What that does is gives me a high transition to another floor. So by removing that one system, what we've done is it's a low floor. It ties right into a hardwood, a carpet, nice and simple. The transition follows. You're gonna love this, Sherry. I mean, how many times have you installed uh, Dietra? Don't even know. Over and over again, Dietra yeah, Heat, obviously, it makes sense. Dietra Heat, we're gonna add cable. So what this does is it just wipes out that secondary system. We always use the mats. Mm -hmm, which has to be pre-ordered and take some time. That's actually. right, and then we're gonna thin set that down, then we have to wait for the tile. This is so simple, this just literally, the heat cable gets snapped down into the pucks, and let me show you. Okay. Are you ready? Come on yeah. down. You got your float? Yeah. Okay, so again, like an electrical wire, you want to keep it in the loop and roll it out. So as we roll it out, it's going to keep it nice and straight. Just grab your cord, grab your float, and away you go, right through. That easy. All right. Okay, last things, do's and don'ts. We're going to yeah. be at least three full pucks away from anything. I love that you tape for the vanity, so we don't need to put it under the vanity. We don't need to install the heat cable under the toilet. Keep it eight inches away from any heat source. I don't care if it's a hot water pipe. I don't care if it's a, a register in the floor. Eight inches away. Loop it three inches, three inches, or three pucks all the way through. Nice and simple. Ready to try it? Yeah. Okay. The great thing about the cable, it just snaps into place in between the pucks. It's very simple to make changes. If we need to rearrange the cable, we can pull it straight out and then realign it in whichever pattern we need to in order to accommodate the floor warming. I like how fast we can install this. Simply adhere the Dietra heat to the floor. Once that's dry, snap in your cables, which takes about 10 minutes, and you're ready to tile right away. Now that the heat cable's down, we have two heat sensors. And what I like about okay. this, you're gonna run two heat sensors. You cut out just one puck, that sensor lies right in. The reason there's two that goes back to the thermostat box is, if ever in the future, for whatever reason, one of the sensors failed, you have a spare sensor inside the box. So we won't have to pop up tiles to fix it. Doesn't that make sense? Much better. Mm -hmm. After that's done, then set tile, so you don't have to wait. Right over top of it. Literally, you put this down within 30 minutes maximum, you're tiling. Sweet. So, you're tiling. Surprise. Okay. <laughs>